The murder of a Castro Valley teenager has been a Bay Area cold case for nearly 30 years. But her parents have turned their family's nightmare into something beautiful. Sharon Chin introduces us to this week's Jefferson Award winners. Sharon? Mm. Yeah, John and Malian Lynn have gone through unimaginable trauma. But for decades now, they've stayed focused on enriching the lives of parents and their children. Fourteen-year-old Jenny Lynn lives on through a legacy of giving begun by her parents, Malian and John Lynn. Jenny, although she was taken away by this horrific uh, murderer, she is too precious to just be gone. The Lynns formed a nonprofit in Jenny's name after she was stabbed to death in their Castro Valley home in 1994. We wanted to do those things, you know, anything that she was. Uh, she loved to do. We want to carry on that. We want to continue doing that for her. The Jenny Lynn Foundation organizes an annual vigil to remember the teenager and continue the hunt for her killer. But the Lynns have also created community programs from leadership and tutoring to child safety. They support Alameda County memorials to remember violent crime victims and help start a section of books on safety in several county libraries. <laughs> But the highlight is a music education program in orchestra, band, and choir that ends with a community concert at Chabot College in Oakland. <laughs> Sophia Shi is among thousands of students who've taken part in the free volunteer-led summer music program, first as a participant, then as a student coordinator. The Lins have watched her grow. They're the kindest people, and it breaks my heart, but also it's so heartwarming when they come to me every time I do something that they're proud of, like giving a speech at their memorial service or performing or taking on a responsibility that was out of my comfort zone. In addition, community donations have funded scholarships for several dozen students for academic and music excellence and for promising young musicians. The awards pay tribute to Jenny, a straight A student who played the viola. Jenny will feel that uh, these uh, young students, young musicians, accomplished her dream. From music to child safety, board member Lynn Foy Kush says Malian and John give from their heart. They always put other people first. They've remained adamant that whatever they can do to stop this ever happening to anyone again is priority number one. I know she would be uh, proud of what we're doing. So for serving the community through the Jenny Lynn Foundation, this week's Jefferson Award in the Bay Area goes to Malian and John Lynn. Sharon Chin, KPIX 5. The Lynns now live in Southern California, but they return to the Bay Area often for foundation events. As far as the investigation into a murder suspect, they say authorities are using updated technology to follow new leads in the case. You know, I distinctly remember this case growing up here in the Bay Area, yeah. but it's, it's so nice to see that her name is now being used for something so positive now. And they're going to keep that going, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, their strength yeah. is just mm. inspiring. Yeah. Yes, they are. Thank you, Sharon. Love them.